Yo, 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 what is up, my peeps? It's your main man, Cop, here. We are back with another awesome stream for you. We're going to be hugging some Mythic Plus for the giggles since it's the last week of the season. So, pitter-patter, let's get at her, shall we? Let's bring up the stream. Let's bring up the chat. Let's bring up the game. Excellent. Hey, Lord. Wave to you as well. Get on over. Azralan, no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I heard all about the war within Alpha. That's why I'm running a little bit late today. Darkheart Thicket 23 we can do. In fact, I was reading through them. Working on my, working on my build. Anyway. Sure. What the heck? Okay, the oak. Don't burn your mouth off, though. <laughs> happy to, happy to be seen, brother.
can do a 24 with a slow priest. Well, not looking for a 23 at all, but thank you, High Lord. Looking for 24s. The only 23 I'm actually looking for is Dark Heart Thicket. Go to that was a Waycrest. How's it going, buddy? Oh, yeah, Tronin. Oh, let me tell you, buddy. I was so freaking happy. No, no. Dampen Harm is now... Uh, Brewmaster exclusive. It looks like Touch of Karma is just gone. We might have lost that too. Which would make me very unhappy. I'm not certain we will, Tronin. It depends on the, it depends on the, the, uh, the tuning, obviously. But we get it from multiple sources now. Like, there's a couple of different talents in there that actually feed us haste kind of constantly. So I'm not sure it'll it still won't be less than 100% valuable. But we'll see for sure. I need to actually get in the alpha and mess around with it. But as you see, even with me trying to not have haste, I'm still at 7% haste. So I'm not super duper worried about it either way. There you go, buddy. Remember, season four, all of the uh, all of the numbers are down by ten. So if you did a fifteen in season three, that's a five in season four. So if you managed to do a six in season four, that would be the same as if you did a sixteen in season five, or season three, season five. What the heck am I thinking? <laughs> I'm so excited! I'm so excited! And I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. Oh, I didn't get a vault this week. I, I didn't uh, play at all last week. I was out of town uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then uh, I got super sick Friday. This is outside of the uh, doing the raid for Metro yesterday. This is pretty much the first time I'm playing in over a week. Fine, honestly. Healers were a bit overtuned as it was. Plus, they don't do no damage, and they should be doing damage. It's true. Numbers flow together. Excellent. I didn't see it, so I'm going to assume that means it's gone, but... It looks like they're trying to force us to use Whirling Dragon Punch in AoE now. 
Which could make up for some of the damage gone from the AoE Touch of Death. The only real problem with Whirling Dragon Punch is it counts as movement and you can't move while doing it. I will attempt to de-confuse you, Theo. What what exactly are you confused about? But I mean, that's the only reason that Windwalkers don't generally use Whirling Dragon Punch is because if you cast it, you can't move during it. It's just a straight up thing, and you're stuck while it's while the animation is going on, which has killed me so many times in the past because we used to have to take it. Um. But it also counts as movement, which has screwed me over a number of times in the past. With Whirling Dragon Punch, um... Oh, that's just... They, they've had that up for... For Welcome a long home, time. Daughter. I see you brought guests. That's Don't her website, or that's her webpage for Daughter news Witch. about World War Within. Such insolence! Wait until your father hears of this. In the meantime, I leave you in the care of my servants. Come back and face my steel! I definitely need face. to do a bit of a deep dive on that new ta monk talent tree. <sighs> Running off seems like a bad idea. We have more of a plan than that. The other thing I didn't right? see too, Em, is that Heroes, I, I didn't see in the we must Wowhead thing evil. that the Your AoE Touch of Death was removed. So, we'll who knows, the right? While you dispatch her servants. Good hunting. We actually look at it. it. Doesn't say it's removed. Double touch of death looks like it's uh, gone. Well, everybody just left. As the group leader went offline. Oh dear. People have such little patience. Let's see. Have us a look. Look all together. You know, I think it's pretty good, Theo. The only thing I would say is that the helmet doesn't really go much with everything, neither does the, the weapon. Because you got this weird kind of red helmet here, and the green foul fire on the weapon, and it doesn't really blend in with the rest of the transmog. You know? 
that would be my opinion of it. If you like it, you keep it. But that is my opinion of it. Oh, you meant her gear. Don't know from gear one thing from the other, but I will have another look. Let's have another look at the gear. Four fifty nine eye level. I mean, I know nothing about paladin gear, so I, I couldn't say too much about paladin gear. Um, one thing I will say is you've only got two uh, tier pieces. I would definitely go and get as many t uh, things converted to tier as you could um, over at the Conversion Catalyst so you can get your four piece going for next season. And those charges at the Conversion Catalyst are going to be uh, reset, so you better use them this week. I don't know what to tell you, buddy. I'm not. I, I don't. I don't know much about paladins. Absolutely. Show us. We're we're being kind of casual today. Let's see. What do we got? Tall Dazar. If there are any darker thickets, okay, I will have a quick Dark Heart twenty three. Yes, very nice. See, all that goes together really well. Definitely looks like a ret pally. The only thing I would say, and uh, this is just a personal thing on my uh, my end, is I've never liked skirts on melee uh, DPS classes. They just to me they just don't fit. So I would I would have gone for some kind of leggings, but. Hey, you do you. If that makes you happy, you do you. Dark heart thicket, you say. I honestly, I have no idea, Theo. I, I don't, I don't look at things in that general way. I just, just keep going, and then when I get the mount, I get it. Ishnu Allah. Ishnu Allah to you as well.
can't be showing the hooves. I suppose. Sometimes you gotta show a little ankle, you know. Dreadroot was once a beautiful wood, but now is overrun by monstrosities of the nightmare. This cannot stand. The mouse pad. Let's see. Look at this awesome mouse pad. Looks cool. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna click on either of these because I have no idea what they say. But the mouse pad does indeed look cool. I figured that's what it was, buddy. I did, but let's see what do we got. That's gonna be our tank. Set focus. Always put the blue square on the tank. Tomorrow's forecast is sunny, with a chance of epic loot. Yep, yep. <laughs> Many deals for a friend of the Grummels, <laughs> like you. Gotta get recording software up. Just gonna get. Saw that. Five, four, three, two, one. Does indeed look amazing. I'm so excited. Spiteful this week. Ooh. 
Those who challenge me only speed themselves to an agonizing death. So says the shadow of Xavius. Be still, worm. I will deal with you shortly. Concentration. Charging. Move. Interrupt. Concentration is a gun. Charging. See, now is the point it occurs to me I use my combat Charging. bot. Move. As I automatically usually do when somebody casts Bloodlust. Only... Now, we're not going to have it. The invis pot for the skip. The skip. Plus side, the Invispot might actually be up to do the bear skip now. Using the potion of stinky brightness. I have many lucky days for you, like. Take that deep breath. Splitting the D! Defilers, I can smell the nightmare in your blood. Be gone from these woods, or suffer nature's wrath!
Superior Metro. So I was trying to get a 23 DHT done. Hey, Bradley. Well, that degenerated too quickly. Stop the recording. To the spreadsheet we go. Although, first things first. Let me get some tunes going here. Oh, Siege of Borales for sure. I I can almost guarantee that. Let's see, that is a Dark Heart Thicket. 23. Disband. Death Knight. And a Holy Priest. I'm assuming Grim Batal will be heavily reworked. It's a Cata dungeon. All the Cata dungeons have had huge reworks. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna sweat it until uh, until I see it. That was a hunter. Yeah, I'm going to, my assumption, and I could be deeply wrong, we'll see. Just type this in first. Abe. In. Milch. Now, Anis drops group after full white. Bears. Ape ch ape waffle eggs. Sure. My Oh. And then all kinds of vehicles. Sure, Chimney. My assumption with uh, Grim Batal is that they'll just remove the the dragon part where you ride the dragon and you shoot the, the mobs. They'll make that automatic so that you'll always have the same exact amount of mobs. That is my assumption. Let's see, we've got some kind of race car, some banks. Oh, you you love those uh, those little picture thing of a bobbers. I'm too old to know what they're called. Let's see. Twenty four Everblom. We can do that. Yeah, that, that tank was dying easily.
I, I think the emotes are... We've had enough of the emotes for now. But I appreciate the emotes. Appreciate the interaction, but I think we've had enough emotes for now. Oh no, they, they don't need me. They, they've got three DPS already. Yeah, click the thing at least one time. Everblom, or Everdoom as I like to call it. Gotta click the thing at least once. They're looking for a lusty boy. I do not have lust, so that would not be me. Do a 24 throne. That's true. That's why I have no lust.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, progression keys seem to not be happening. Maybe we drop down and do 20s for the lulls. <laughs> you know? Oh, I don't even know, Theo. I couldn't even begin to tell you. We got... Actually, we had a mount farming stream. was the last stream I did before this one. Yeah, progression keys, not happening. Let's do... Let's do 20s for the lulls. It'll be a lot easier to get into. And I got... Uh, Metarol gave me an awesome mount at the start of it. And I got a super duper awesome mount that was a super rare drop as well. Um, less than... It was 0.1% drop right at the end, so... I don't remember the names of either of them. Uh, Green Protodrake was the one that I finally got. At the end of the stream. And it was one of the, the riding wolves. Uh, from the... Uh, time thingamajiggies that they've got out there in Thaldraz's. We've got a tank. Is this blood person here with a blue box above their head? Nice, good job, Bradley. That's what I did. I retired my nine-plus-year-old Del Rig when it blew up. Yeah, missing a DPS. This Frost Mage was invited, though, so we'll see. Looks like we got a full group. Good. Let's see. Oh yeah. 
we definitely need to boot this. Looks like humans are getting their racial change. They're no longer going to give uh, reputation bonus. That's interesting. <laughs> he looks like Camp Antonitis. <laughs> and our mage is in Valdraken. Because of course they are. <laughs> no worries, buddy, no worries. Paladin was just hearthing to the timeways. That's good. That's good. He'll be here soon. Our mage is still sitting in Valdraken. Yeah, yeah, those mages have no way to get from place to place. I agree, Theo. I love that the, that you can get there easily, though. Oh, the mage has decided to come to the timeways now. Just need to do some stuff in Valdraken first. That's all. Now, Paladin's the one with the keystone, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna get pox and stuff. Be a Stam Flask or something, huh? That is a very old reference to a very old Metro stream. Wow, the mage actually got here before the paladin. Wow. Wakey, wakey. That's the... Nobody knows for sure, Theo, but that's the thought.
Yeah. I personally think it'll be a, a week or two after BlizzCon. But, but yeah. Dragonflight was as well. In November. Start the recording. Focus up. Tanks, tank likes the X mark. I wonder what would happen if partway in the dungeons I changed it to a blue box. <laughs> Yeah, that was freaking hilarious. If I was more of a, a metro troll, I would do it. Watch your step. So nice. Tanks have no idea how much that means to DPS like me. When you move this guy out of that. The reason being is because uh, Watch your step. it makes it a heck of a lot easier to uh, dodge his frontal like that. Stuck in combat. Matt, we'll be seeing you in a few minutes. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. That's my fault. That's entirely up to me. That's entirely my fault. I went one, I started going a little bit too far. Thought the tank was ahead of me. Uh oh. Interrupt. No, the BlizzCon is almost always on the exact same date.
That almost went very badly. And again, my fault. I gotta get better. Watch your step. Watch your step. Nah, I ain't no rouge. Watch your step. Hey, Ozumat. Like I say, we'll see you in a couple of minutes. this thing still alive. I thought we killed it. Watch your step. Only mostly dead. Gotcha. No.
Ah, uh, this is fine. This is fine. Somebody besides the tank pole. Paladin ran into aggro range. Oh, somebody sheep that thing. Like in this Ross Mage, gotta say. Doing work. Interrupt. Interrupt. AOE incoming. AOE incoming. Interrupt. You can. Interrupt. Shockwave. Interrupt. Warriors in the boneyard now. Interrupt. Shockwave. Shockwave. AOE incoming. Interrupt. Interrupt. The warrior can't stay alive on this boss. I don't like his chances on the next one. Shockwave.
You're wrong, I ain't perfect either, but... Shortwave. Interrupt. Interrupt. In fact, I am far from perfect. Shockwave. AOE incoming. Interrupt. Interrupt. AOE incoming. Warrior is offline. Knocking back. Yeah, the warrior needs to be badly. Watch your feet. Watch your step. Watch your step. Watch your feet. Knocking back. On the plus side, it's one less person for the healer to heal. Watch your step. Watch your feet. Nothing bad. That may have been a bad use of my CDs, but... Four of us, I'm prepared to risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. like the tank run
I was gonna say it looks like the tank redecide uh, this changed his mind about pulling the Gilbins with this since we're down to four people, but No! I got knocked up. Knocked up by the volcano. Control. Crowd control. Interrupt. Crowd control. Interrupt. Crowd control. Crowd control. Run. Crowd control. That was my fault. Crowd control. Interrupt. Crowd I accidentally control. pulled extra. I'm sorry. Run. Yeah, I made a bad roll. Especially with Crowd only control. four people in this dungeon, it's not exactly wise. Interrupt. Interrupt. That's definitely a low amount of damage from a death knight. Even a blood decay should do more than that. Interrupt. that knocked that back? I didn't know Mage just had a knockback. Run. Um, I don't know. Might be. I, I, I think he's pulling fine Run. given that we have one less DPS. I get you.
crowd control. Crowd control. Crowd control. Crowd control. Nope. Can't have me, spiteful. Crowd control. Sometimes you just gotta disengage. Crowd control. Take the flame shock. Attack I don't want the flame shock. Attack totem. Still don't know how the group that Metro had in here the other day kept pulling Attack Totem. The extra mods. I think it was specifically a hunter. Keep moving. Must be found. Yeah, that boss wants grilled cop a lot. Forgive me. I often I am the target of his uh of any assistance. Flame shot. Break line of sight. I really think he picks melee DPS more than he picks anything else for that effect, honestly. I am weary. You must carry on without me. I shall take my leave once my strength has returned. Nice, the Frost Mage actually made good use of the Frost Shield. Very, very nice. Let's try this again.
just me or are we standing right on a spawn point? I don't think that was just me. I think we were standing right on a spawn point. Screw it. We don't see the hammer. You it's right back there. <laughs>
AoE touch death for the win. As I purify these waters, the servants of filth Target surely you. be stirred. Beware. My waters are cleansed. Drinking their power. Target you. Are cleansed, drinking their power. Ah, their filthiness stains me. They didn't get the one that was out of melee range. Yep, few more days until season four. Target you. AOE incoming. I tried to get that bottle. I freaking tried. Target you. Oh, My good. waters are cleansed, drinking their power. Ah, oh, there's no room in melee. Oh, their filthiness stains me. Target you. My waters are cleansed, drinking their power. AOE incoming. Oh, their filthiness stains me. Thanks, solo save. Man, we suck at doing that. Phase two. Oh, I've seen everything they, they, they posted, John. I am so happy. <laughs> you cannot imagine my level of happiness right now. <laughs> yeah, well, and Monk has been very vocal. Monks have been very vocal about how the, a, a rework needs to be done. So. I know. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, oh, demon hunters. You thought you could take our place as the most mobile class. You really did. But no. No mobility. We now are the ones with the double jump. Yeah, Brewmaster looks really good, too. Okay, let's head on over to our spreadsheet. That was a Throne of Tides. That was a 20. That was a completion. Paladin. Me, a mage. I almost don't want to put the warrior on there. Just hit that practically nothing. Let's see. He didn't even have fear of lack. Okay, let's let's find another key to do. That was fun. Everblom would be nice. Tall Vassar would be nice. The Everdoom. Head to the Everdoom. I twill indeed. I need some tunage. Monks have been complaining and vetching and moaning about a need for a complete rework, especially the Windwalkers that I've seen anyway, for several expansions. 
honestly got to the point I just started ignoring it because, you know, it, uh, like the guy who writes the, the guides on Windwalker said, you don't play Windwalker because it's the best, you play it because you love it. And I loved it, so I just stopped listening to it. But I gotta say, that rework, I got tears, man. That rework was that they they're doing in the war within looks amazing yeah i don't really see brewmasters having much of a button bloat in comparison to windwalker right but you got to look at it like this too windwalker got some buttons trimmed too Damp and Harm? That's gone for Windwalker. That's a Brewmaster only. So that's just gone. They turned, uh... Whatchamacallit? Chi Wave into... a passive ability. Yeah, I had a love-hate relationship with Chi Wave and Chi Burst for since BFA. I love to see that because that means that gives me another little thing that just goes boop 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 boop. I I kind of like that they're getting rid of. Bone Dust Brew in favor of trying to make Whirling Dragon Punch work. Because Whirling Dragon Punch has been broken since they they brought it in. Pro I, I said this earlier today and I'll say it again. The, the problem with Whirling Dragon Punch is that it not only counts as movement... So if there's, if there's an effect going on that's like, if you move, you gain a stack of this curse that's going to do so much damage per stack, doing Whirling Dragon Punch counts as movement because you jump up in the air to do it. The animation jumps up in the air, rather. You don't. But at the same time, Whirling Dragon Punch also prevents you from actually moving. You cannot move, like, unlike... Spinning Crane Kick or Fists of Fury, you cannot move while Whirling Dragon Punch is going off. You are stuck. And so as, if, as you're hitting the button, say a Volcanic appears underneath you, you're screwed. That Volcanic is going to go off and kill you. Because you're in the middle of doing your rotation. Because you cannot move out of it. Ooh, that's going to be cool, John. I like that. Uh, yeah, and the Mop Remix is coming too. So much good stuff. And I'll tell you this right now, because I I always been 100% open and honest about this. I have really bad, really deep, like, it, it doesn't get worse than this, arachnophobia. Like, I just, I can't even look at the screen when there's spiders on it. It's really bad. So, what I do is, I will look down and I'll try and just look at my bars when there's spiders on the screen and I have to fight them, and it really kind of hampers me. So, that new thing, that new arachnophobia mode, that's going to turn them all into crabs, you cannot imagine how much that... <laughs> I literally started crying when I saw that. I was so happy. <laughs> These were tears of happiness. Tears of joy. That was how happy I was because of that. Hey, Thor. How's it going, buddy?
They're all going to be crabs. That's going to make this whole game so much nicer for me in ways you can't even begin to imagine. One of my favorite zones for story is the Ghostlands. And I can't really do it much because the spiders there bug me so bad. So... That's... That is one of the biggest, if not the biggest quality of life change I've, I've ever seen in this game for me. It just makes me so happy. Hey Steven, how's it going buddy? Probably start recording. Start recording button. Dispel. Yeah, me too. That was I was so happy to have been able to help out with that. Been a really good week so far, honestly. It really has. Like There's three of them on me. Range five. There were three spikeballs on me at that point. Does not make me a happy cough. Makes me a pretty dead one, to be honest. I was thinking of... Oh. was thinking of taking the week off, but... Many, many Metro made a really good, good point about... Funny to stop happening. Dispel.
Dispel. Interrupt. <laughs> yep, sending this one to Metro. Oh, this is this is gonna be fun. I, I legit do not know how finished this Tiki is gonna get, but I'm loving the war of words. <laughs> I don't know if we'll get past this next boss. Healing waters went off. I couldn't switch in time. I saw it and just could not switch in time. <laughs> it goes on. Oh, the priest is not having it. The priest is done with with lip from a tank. <laughs> <In trap. laughs> Somebody just lost pre... Okay, I admit I was inside the breath there. That's on me. But somebody lost it. <laughs> Before the phase that she takes a bunch of extra damage. <laughs> Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but now is when you would want to lust, yeah? Thank you. 
Yes. Bring me the, your pad. Nom nom nom. I'll have it with peanut sauce. Nom nom nom. Damage is good, even with the Disc Priest not doing damage. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I, I've always said that as long as the, the, the healer's doing over 10k DPS, I don't care. And I really don't. Uh, just kind of referencing what the, uh, the tank was saying earlier. Bring me your pad. I will get my DPS to the top of the meters one way or t'other. Ah, well, we made it past the first boss, which is a little shocking. Run. Interrupt. 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 Lucky dudes, you like? Now what? Now what? Did, okay, did anybody have eleven thirty four into the key? Or 1402 into the key for the disband time. Alright, who won the office pool for 14 minutes for the disband time? <laughs> Many deals for a friend of the Grummels, <laughs> like you. I don't know, Steven. I don't. I, I, I legit do not know. Just, I don't know.
Okay, let's... Let's go up here, we'll put that into the... <laughs> yeah, Bradley, that was uh, a little bit of drama there. That was an uh, Everdoom 20. Yes, band. A Druid and a Dick's Priest. <laughs> They're both kind of dicks, if you ask me. <laughs> Me, the arms warrior, and it looks like an odd looker. So, pugnacious. Hail Plus. Dash. Hail Plus. Drops. Group. Hail. Of Trash Pack. Because the tank won't stop. Tank, yeah, yeah, I gotta name the tank too. And name drop the tank in this reason too, just just for evenness. Kaeldris. Zuljin. Let's see if we can find another key. The mirrors on rise. Wow, look at all those mirrors on rises. Wow. Not many that I actually want to do at this point. Dude, the alpha. Alpha looks so good, dude. Changes to Windwalker. So happy. Even just the changes to Monk in general would be enough to make me giddy. Dude, if I had strings to pull, I'd be pulling them for myself. <laughs> I have zero. I... Shagrel, Grumgall, I think you're Grumgall. My, my memory serves. I don't know. I think people put too much faith in that, that timeline. It doesn't say what people think it says. That's just my opinion. It's always been my opinion of it.
I'm gonna close like didn't mean to do that, I meant to do that. Settings? <laughs> Just wanted to make sure party was still coming through because it looked like it wasn't. Dragonflight has already infiltrated the timeways. We must follow. Yeah. I... <laughs> I don't know. I just want to get in. I just want to get in and mess around with things and see how XYZ feels and... Okay, this guy's character's name is Paid Druid. It's literally what the dude's name is. So happy together. So how is the weather? When did we even start streaming? I have no idea how long we've been going. one of those. Go. One of those. Yes! Yes, Bradley! Oh my god, I'm so happy about that. You have no idea. Seriously. Seriously. That is the, the absolute best thing. If that was all they announced today, I would literally be jumping for joy. I... I... I I broke down in tears when Metro showed it to me. I really did. I, I just, just pull out bawling. No idea how much of a quality of life improvement it is for me. It did. They made it just for me. Oh.
and start the recording. Five, four, three, two, one. The infinite dragonflight has already infiltrated the timeways. We must follow them. You won't. Oh, don't you worry. We'll find a way to stop them. Crowd control. Watch your step. How did people die Crowd there? Control. Horsemen's at bay while you take care of their command. Right. We've got your back. Watch your step. Somebody has the Lego. Watch your step. Oh, that's a hunter. Here and no farther. Go, Jimmo. I, I, I thought that the. Uh, Thought the hunter had it, because I always mistake his color for warrior's color. Watch your story. Doing 700 days. Yes. What your skill? Gets old. <laughs> Turns out the warrior does actually have fear lap. The infinites have done well covering their tracks. This will take us some time. Champions, Shockwave. you must destroy any anomalies that appear. We can't the warrior have does have it. Twisting the time ways. When do you think the infinites went to, Nosdormu? I do not know. They have often tried to corrupt the true timeline, but to invade the Promised Temple to do so. Trash in here always gets me. I'm never do I never do very good on this trash. They risk unraveling all of time as we know it. 
little bit too far. Indeed. And they will stop at nothing to ensure the rise of my darkest self. Shockwave. Now, I admit, I uh, I pulled there. I didn't mean to pull. That was on me, but... I don't think people respect those giant circles enough, because they've killed me so many times. I think my overly cautious nature around them is probably why I do poorly on this crash. Even the aspect of time cannot be allowed to disrupt the timeways. No! We're trying to fix them! The timeways shall be protected! What Sands of time, I call upon you. Best way to dodge the sands of time is to be on the edge of the slow zone because of time. The giant holes that appear. Well done. Seriously, that was really well done by everybody in the group. I didn't even do badly there. The pathway is open. I well, I agree, Bradley. It, 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 that was about as smooth as you're gonna get. Like, that was really well done. I'm actually quite impressed. You shall not interfere with our infinite dawn! Yep. Some of us are gonna have to die. I have tracked the infinites to a place a moment where I dare not tread. You're not coming with us? I shall be with you in a sense, but not as you know me now. I have faith in you, my friends. And even should Murazon rise, know that all is not lost. That corpse above us? It's... it's Galakrond! He must have just fallen! He was the biggest proto dragon ever. His hunger nearly consumed yeah, all is, it's the a death, It's a nice life. death skip, but I don't. I don't know how we screwed that up. Honestly, we thought we did pretty good on it. Somebody pulled it. Might have been me.
Watch your step. Watch your step. Be careful. We've gone back before the aspects were even the aspects. We have to find the... Uh, Proto aspects? Proto aspects? Watch your step. Chromie's voice lines always get me, I swear. Watch your step. Watch your step. Yeah, that's why I said it might have been me. I, 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 cause I saw I, I had aggro, right? Watch your step. It could very little be any, any of them that actually Watch pulled your step. it. I was in combat with him is probably a better way to put it. Watch your step. Always gets me when someone has the legendary like that and they're doing so much better than me. Because it's. It's not that I'm doing poorly, it's that they're doing so well. Watch your step. Corrupt. Watch your feet. OLE Incoming. Watch your step. Want it to sink into my skin. Let them come. Sinks into your bones. Let them come. Yen, we're doing really well on the boss fights. You really are. This group is good. We face enemies above and below. <laughs> no storm. Yeah. Alex Straza, everyone. The infinites are here, and we have to stop them. They want to. They want to. They really, oh, really, really want to get a guy. Very well, little dragon. My friends, with me. If Riddicon came here with the infinites, then they must be working together. Watch your step. Oh, that's Crowd control. Can you scout ahead? I'll be Did you more. think so? Like I say, Chromie's voice lines always get me. Crowd control. For the future of Azeroth. That's a. That was. That was a. Uh, that was a, a, a lot of volcanic thing. It was entirely too much volcanic. Way, way too much. Crowd control. A stupid amount of volcanic. Crowd control. A redonkulous amount of volcanic.
Yeah. It was a plethora. Revolt. Oh. The other Watch your step. Yeah. So, the Titan's puppets have come to face me. You're siphoning Galatron's essence into a vessel? It Watch your step. Maybe like the dragon sword. Yes, El Guapo, I would say you had a plethora of volcanics. Defended by Earth. Defended by Earth. I mean, it's nice of uh, El Guapo here. Give me a chance to use my touch death. Wow, or only one phase like that. Wow, <laughs> look at how quick that was, guys. I I tend to agree, Vatigar, I tend to agree. Three chested that. Three chested that. Scrolling back to see if anybody got the mount. Uh, uh, well, apparently not, Bradley, because, you know, we had that, that Ever Doom before. <laughs> the tank and the healer couldn't stop smack talking each other. <laughs> I have many, many wares. That one was good. Okay. Let's stop the recording. We'll put it in the spreadsheet. Uh, we needed that. We, after, you know, a disband completion disband. We needed that plus three. It was a, it was a moral victory. Double druid. Now look at that. The healing druid does 46k DPS. And the key is smooth. Just like that. Can you ask for more out of them? No. 
Like, that's all you want, is just enough to make everything smooth. We had a hunter and a warrior. You might be able to get 490 if you had all 489 and then the the legendary Theo, but yeah, I think 489 is about as high as you're going to get. I'm 487, I still got a, a, a 483 piece in, plus some crafted stuff, which of course maxes out at uh, 486, so... That was fun. We could do a tall, we could do ever ever bloom. Well it's from the it's from the uh uh oh ever bloom. It's from the uh the vault the week after. So let's go to the Everboot Doom. I reject your Metro title and substitute my own. The Everdoom. should really be an easy key. Usain Bolt? Why was there an Usain Bolt? Oh, look! Us Lane Bolt! <laughs> I didn't even notice that, Theo. Good catch. Ready to go. Let's do this. Start recording. I should probably step my focus on the tank. I do not see Uslain Bolt in the key, no. Five, you do it. Four, you go, John. You can three, get it, buddy. Two, one. I saw that, Bradley. I saw that. I was just actually looking at that. That's what I was looking at well. That looks like a very small amount of HP for a tank.
dispel. By the way, guys, just seeing a draft here actually just kind of reminded me of this. I don't know if y'all saw, Interrupt. but Monk's getting a sued, by the way. So, yeah. Interrupt. It's and the nice thing is it's not an active suit. It's an automatic thing. So it will just be an, an extra little bit of soothing that happens automatically. I think it's when we either stun or interrupt something. I don't remember now. Yeah, it really does. Like, kind of shocked we haven't had one up to put now. Apparently, I pulled the uh, I, I pulled threat. Sorry, my tank friend. I did not mean to pull your threat. Dispel. Trying to get lust back up for the boss. This is more than I have seen pulled. Before. He's pulling the mini boss, too. Good for him. Oh yeah, these things silence you, don't they? In addition to doing damage, they like silence you. Interrupt. What kind of weird a weird butt skip is he planning? <laughs> I almost swore there. That just goes to show how uh, how giddy I am about the war within. Yeah, legit. He's he's trying to get trying to get bloodlust up for the boss. That can be the only reason we're pulling this much trash. No, he will awaken. Interrupt.
Quit choking me. I have damage to do. There's also a talent in there that makes it so that um, whenever we pop Zwen, a, a tiger statue also goes down at our location. That's an extra tiger statue, by the way. We have two up at the same time. There's so much to love about the changes to Windwalker, specific and Monk in general. Oh, so, but brother, have you seen some of the Windwalker changes? Oh, I am so happy. I could not be more happy with the changes from the War Within. Oh my god. I'm going to be competing with you, brother. I, I swear it on Odin's hammer. Not Thor's hammer, Odin's hammer. I swear it that I will compete with you in DPS in the War Within. You gotta look. I mean, I know you're not a, a generally not a monk, but oh my god, oh my god, it's it's huge. It's huge. I was talking about it earlier. There's like... There's a talent that makes it so whenever I pop my Celestial, it'll also drop my statue. And all statues are baseline for the spec that you're in. So the tiger statue is only going to be in walkers, the ox is only going to be brewmaster, yada yada yada. But... There's also stuff that buffs everything. Strike of the Windlord's getting a huge buff. This Fury's getting a huge buff. They've redesigned how the class works. A lot more stuff gets buffed by haste, but we're also getting other sources of haste that just passively happen as we do our normal rotation. So I don't even think we need to, to gear into haste gear anymore. I mean, we never needed to gear into haste gear. 
but it was always kind of that give and take where you wanted six to seven percent on your gear, so that's they the tier stuff took care of that. This tier usually had a couple of these in that case. Death Knight didn't get almost anything from what Metro was saying, but... Run. I just mean change-wise, buddy. There's, there's still, like, a lot of cool stuff coming. Monk's getting a double jump. Flying Serpent Kick is awesome. It's it's endemic to the class. Dispel. You ask me, Flying Serpent Kick should be baseline, but... Interrupt two. Interrupt one.
This guy's going down a lot slower than the first one. Boy chicken, na 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 na. Boy chicken, bra na na na. You got it. You got to do some metal. When you're on a boy chicken, you got to You got to You got to sing some metal. I have many lucky dudes you like. Uh, that was the paladin pulling more than we could handle. <laughs> I think. Oops. I almost fall down go boom there. AOE incoming. I do love it when there is a ranged in my party doing this doing this poll because <laughs> he always puts the uh, AOE incoming the frost orb way that? out in Narnia. He says as he as the frost orbs centered on him that time. You can't. It's, I can't fight it. Flee the vines. They control us all. Fire. Fire will burn away the contagion. Surely the cold will make them wither. Watch your feet. Well, apparently the healer's out of mana. Get away. Watch your Whoop. Nope. Not too chest it, but we should. We 
should upgrade it. Watch your Surely the cold will make them wither. That was nice placement of those cold ones, I gotta say. Oh, no. See? It's all about where you put the... Pull in thing of a bobber. No, oh, they'll take you too. They can't have me. Always wait for the tank to go in first. The portal is lost. We must stop this beast before it can Five, escape. Four, three, two, We've one. We've got its attention. Shockwave. Lads. We are lost. It's pushing us back. Shockwave. Run over the flowers. Shockwave. Come more within, I won't be able to do that because I will not have my damage, my dampen harm. Shockwave. Kill out. The vines are overtaking everything. Damp and harm is going to be Brewmaster only. Run over the flowers. Yeah. Sadly, it's one of the things. It looks like we're losing a few defensive as Windwalkers, but we're gaining so much. Like, seriously, we're gaining a lot. Shockwave. Kill ads. I can't confirm or deny this yet, but we might have lost Touch of Karma as well. Shockwave. Oh, car they're making Karma Baseline? Nice! Thanks, Bulk. That was the one thing I didn't know, was whether they were making Karma Baseline or not. Oh, okay. Good good to hear. As I said, I, I, I was uncertain. I, I was assuming we would see something. Once uh, more information came out. It just, the way that the Wowhead article said, it talked about it, it, it looked like it was just going away. 
and uh, they just hadn't mentioned it. Back on my perch. So I, that was that was the one thing I wanted clarification on. And a touch of karma's baseline, I'm perfectly happy. I, I don't mind losing damp and harm. It, it's the one defensive I use the least, right? So. That was an Everblom, Everdoom, 20, it was, 2 upgrade. But I, I really appreciate you, you confirming that for me, because I, I trust you. Pally and Druid. Yeah, that's what I saw too, is Port Brews being buffed, so it should fill the void for sure. I was talking uh, to M, one of our, another one of our viewers who's just been getting into Windwalker, uh, because see, Warrior and Ogvoker. I saw the build that he did, and it didn't have Fort Brew in it, and I was like, "Dude, you may want to put Fort Brew. Am I, we want to relook at your build, because <laughs> uh, yeah, Fort Brew is going to be going to be." But it already is a huge part of our kit, so especially the Fort Brew Touch of Karma trick for some big damn, as they say. Ooh. What do y'all say? One more key for fun, and then we'll come back tomorrow and we'll see what what's good. Um... We started the stream with a Waycrest, and it dis it disbanded before we could even get it going. Let's see if we can get into a Waycrest. Go. Yeah, no, I agree, buddy. But I, I don't use, <laughs> as you know, I don't use a standard Windwalker build, so I definitely run Fort Brew. Let's see. BFA. No, not BFA. BFA? Waycrust. But yeah, I've got it on a four minute cooldown. I've kind of been messing with my, my build in preparation for Season 4. Um, oh, hey, Mix! <laughs> Thanks for coming along, buddy. Any failures will come wisdom. I mean, I loved it when it worked. It worked really well. But I can see why, because it's either incredibly overpowered or not worth it at all. But I I, I, I can respect that. Five, four, recording. three, two, one. It appears we have uninvited guests. No matter. I'm certain we can accommodate them. The stuff that they're giving us instead more than makes up for the cleave touch of death. Ensure our visitors are made comfortable. As you command, mistress. I am deeply, 100% happy with everything they've done with Windwalker. It, it just, 
I, I literally got emotional about it earlier because I'm so happy. <laughs> But it also depends, right? Like, if you've got that one mob that you're killing, and you, you know, the other ones are at full health, you're still gonna full, get full damage on them. So times like that, it was deeply overpowered. Disoriented. No, I don't like it. But I do get what you're saying. There's a lot of times where the damage wasn't necessary. I kind of liked it when. Mind control. There was, you know, a group that you could all one shot as you were moving quickly through the dungeon, but keep moving. You know what I mean? Like spread. So while the damage may not have been necessary, it, it just felt good. The more you struggle, the more you give me the iris, you fool. Only I can I get you. I do. Keep moving. After this, I'll show you. I, I made a couple changes to my build that I'm actually quite happy about. I, I was being stubborn and Metro pointed them out, and I was like, yeah, that makes sense. I really should be. I really should be more in tune with the, the people. The rest of the Windwalker community with that one. Shockwave. On second thought, don't answer that. I can tell by your dull expressions that in your corner of the world, Shock the ways. concept of a home not made sure. done is likely in you. I, 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 and that's one of the things I really like about the, the changes that they've made in, in the War Within. It, sure. I kind of think that it feels like the, it's more engaging to play the spec. Interrupt. Yeah, I, I get that too. Like, it's like, uh, it's like our, our, our wonderful, uh, class guide writer whose name escapes me at the moment says, you don't play Wind Walker because it's good, you play it because you love it. Well, I'm thinking that's going to be a lot closer to being the same thing. Come the War Within. Mount Babylonius, thank you so much. I hate forgetting names. It bothers me a lot to do it. Holy crap, there's three of them with, with my name above their head. Watch your step. 
Watch your step. Which is sad because it kind of leaves us without a representative, right? Because he did so much for that. Watch your step. Watch your step. But at the same time, I respect it too. Well, that's why, like, the WoW hit guides are so sketchy at times. I remember in Shadowlands, I was always watching Babylonius and stuff. His, uh, his raid kills, his, his guides on and thoughts about the spec, and I think a lot of the stuff that he was complaining about was stuff that they changed. I would be happy with that, my friend. I really would. Because I know you love it. Yeah. Well, we've got more than one way of generating it. Like, just, not just when. Like, there was another talent in there that gives us passive haste generation as well. Which, I thought, depending on how the tuning works out, might be enough that we might not need... Still might not need haste on our gear. But, again, that's all tuning, so we got to see how it works. we got to get in there. Oh, haste isn't bad. It's just not something we generally need. Like, everything else is more important to us. Yeah, it depends too, right? Like, because there's that... Uh there's that talent that gives us extra chi generation. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take that, though. So that's, again, it's stuff we got to get in and mess with. Liking the Shadow Pantry. I might, I might have to, I might have to play around with both to be certain. But I'm leaning right now. I'm leaning towards the Shadow Pantry. Oh, dude, Faxi, brother, I cried. I literally cried from the Wind Walker changes. We were just talking about them. I'm so happy. <laughs> you have no idea. The, 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 the Wind Walker changes and and the arachnophobia thing between that. That's all I could have ever asked for. Like I'm literally tearing up as we're talking about it now. <laughs> it's so good. I love it so much. 
Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, come on, save the Windwalker, save the universe. Thank you. Oh, Faxi buddy, it's amazing. <laughs> Oh, I tell you, it's. I was playing around with the tree earlier instead of starting the stream like I should have. <laughs> I'm really happy about that. It's like. I'm just sad they didn't fix DK a little bit. I know Metro was a little bit down about that and not getting into the alpha. Watch your step. Watch your step. Watch I, I'm, I'm not even concentrating on <laughs> this key as much as I should be because I'm so happy about, about the Windwalker changes. Yeah, I gotta concentrate a little bit. I was in a place there where I couldn't adjust my camera very easily. Shockwave. That's why I didn't run out, to be honest, because I was afraid I would run it over Shockwave. other people, so I figured it was just easier to have other people move for me. Even though DBM was telling me to run out. Not yet. Um, there was uh, an alpha where I guess they... Um, they invited people out to play it last weekend and they couldn't say anything until today so a whole bunch of information came out size but the actual alpha isn't probably going to come out until tomorrow so metro will find out tomorrow if he got in that diab diabolical at you brother Interrupt. 
Either way, hello and thanks for copping on by the stream. Some facts. Well, congrats to you, Gildy, for getting it. Watch your step. That's, that makes sense. Getting the hook. Getting the hook up. That is very cool. Now, your nightmare is just beginning. That is very, very cool. It doesn't matter who they are. We need their help. Gorak too. None will escape my vengeance. Come on. Send them a flame before the trust of being resurrected. Strictly speaking, I should have saved my combat bot for this guy, but... Honestly... I find this guy... quick and easy enough. Comes a point where people even ignore the ads, so... Definitely time to just focus boss. Easy peasy, lemon sweet squeezy. <sighs> Very nice. Thanks, Max. We've done it. Gorak Tol has been banished. See? There is nothing a strong arm and a sharp steel can fix. Close the recording software. Put that on our spreadsheet. That is a Waycrest 20. ZPZ lemon squeezy. Uh, give me a sec. I just gotta finish filling out my spreadsheet and I'll let you know. Demon Hunter. Holy Priest. Ooh. 
did 52k damage, but dang, that looks small. <laughs> I'm happy with it, though. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Good, good. I just, I was confused because I saw Diab and I was like, Diabolical? <laughs> uh, Paladin and an Ogboker. Okay, my score is 3046. So. Um, yeah, let's do this. I have many lucky dudes you like. Uh, Bulk, I don't know if you're still hanging about, but I was going to show you the way my build looks right now. Um, one of the things that I was taking and that I moved some stuff around for was I was taking the third roll and I was being stubborn about it. Um, Metro pointed out that there was a bunch of stuff that was probably better, like Bounce Back and Generous Pour, which I wasn't taking. Um, I don't. I really don't like to run Wind Walking. Um, I used to like, and I was running Eye of the Tiger as well, which is where the fourth point come in. Um... It, it galls me that we don't... That, uh, that's not a baseline and that it's not 10%. Really? It doesn't? Like, everybody's taking it, apparently. Like, he was looking up uh, Windwalker builds and the top Windwalker builds and dungeons, everybody's taking it. So, I was like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. As you can tell, though, the big thing that... Uh, separates me from other Windwalkers as I take Inner Peace instead of this. I just never felt good about this, even even when it was just one, and it dashes you to the target. Same reason I'm not going to take Clash. It just I don't like movements that I don't initiate and I don't control. It just bothers me a lot. Plus, this smooths out a lot of the uh, energy regen issues where we're just doing nothing for a few seconds. So, I like that more than I like this. But... I mean... A lot of stuff that's melee range you can get outside of what I would consider melee range. Like a lot of my melee range abilities, like in Everbloom, you know, those guys who spin around in Everbloom, I can attack with all of my melee skills while being outside of their circle. And to me, that's all the range I need for that. So, I, I just don't need it, you know what I mean? To me, that's just, it's just not necessary. But... I'm a weirdo. I admit it. <laughs> but the thing is, Am, about windwalking, if you look at the build I linked in Metro's Discord, we're, we're gonna... We're gonna have, like, 20% increased speed in between pulls. <laughs> it's so good! It's so freaking good. Like I'll show you all, I'll show you all the uh, the one I'm talking about. They wow. Shrink that up a little bit so y'all can see the whole thing. But that's what I was looking at doing for the war within. I kind of like it. I kind of like it a lot, honestly. I love that Rushing Jade Wind is passive now. <laughs> it comes from Strike of the Windlord.
I don't like chi burst. I I I have a I have a thing with it because I I it's pulled mobs way too many times and I just aiming it bothers me. So it's the same reason I don't like. Uh, I refuse to call it Jade Fire Stomp. The same reason I don't like uh, Feline Stomp. I don't like to have to aim it, and if I don't aim it, it's either not going to hit anything or it's going to go off into Narnia and pull mobs. So I, I never run Chi Burst. Never, never, never. It'll never catch me running it. So I think that's a, a reasonable substitution. Yeah, it, it, the only time... Because it, it's a single target thing now, right? It's a single target thing for us. And I... Again, you... I am much more interested in Whirling Dragon Punch and how that's going to come out. How that's going to work out for us. Because... Right now, you know the problems with Whirling Dragon Punch. It's considered movement, and it doesn't let us move. And that just annoys me. If they make Whirling Dragon Punch so that I can move while the animation is going on, this is the same with Spinning Crane Kick and uh, Fists of Fury. They didn't used to be like that. Yeah, be you and me both, Bulk. It's a hate love-hate relationship, but it seems like they're working on it. So if the, I can move while that, that animation is going on, I have no problem. I will run Whirling Dragon Punch, you know, 99 times out of 100 and twice on Sundays and everything. But, yeah, there's, there's some stuff in there that is just super duper good. I think this is going to be where I start. Yeah, no, I get you. And, and, and that was always the, the complaint about Whirling Dragon Punch is when to do it, when to not do it. It screwed me over so many times um, in Nihilotha, especially that first fight on Mythic where you're fighting Rathion or the Shade of Rathion or, you know, the fake Rathion, whatever it was. Because every time you moved, you would get a, a, a stacking curse. And... Whirling Dragon Punch, even though you don't actually move, it just the, the animation makes you jump up. Would add a stack. This is was so good that I had Tiger's Lust because I could clear my stacks, right? But I was always taking more damage than everybody else. It was it was annoying. And then in horrific visions, when you were doing five masks, you were there were so many little puddles that every time you moved, it would drop a puddle. And Whirling Dragon Punch would make you drop a puddle, and you couldn't move during it. And that was just... <clears throat> but it was the best ability on the row. It was better than Serenity at the time. So everybody took it. So it was just love-hate relationship. But it, like you say, it looks like they are going to make it do a ton of damage. And uh, it's going to proc. They had Tsuchiji... Courageous. Which one is that, M? Yeah, you and me both, brother. I can't stand Serenity. I'm a Storm, Earth, and Fire guy. L love, live, die forever. Fifth row, second. One, two, three, four, five. Second in. Jade Ignition? No. Brawler's Intensity? Oh, you mean in the, the Monk one? One, two, three, four, five. Two. Sixth row, didn't count. Okay, so. Two, three, five, six. Second one in. Courageous Impulse. Oh, okay, yeah. It's, yeah, our current, current two-piece, the Blackout Kick proc. So, if you look at our current two-piece... Blackout Reinforcement. Increasing the damage your next Blackout Kick by 250%. That's the, what it's talking about. But there's so much to love there. I, 
the one thing I, I said that I could easily... Um, this is kind of what I'm think I, I, I'm I'm hedging on is the the passive rushing jade wind. I might put that into crane vortex. I don't know which is going to be better. I need to see how it's tuned before I make that. That's the one thing that I'm kind of back and forth on. But I really love the idea of a passive rushing jade wind. So you know, what are you gonna do? I really, really do. I love it. Sky Touch is going to be where a lot of the Windwalkers go, but again, that's that's the the point I'm putting here. So, <laughs> can't believe they still keep Lost Emperor's Capacitor and Jade Ignition in there. Teachings of the Monastery. I'd still kind of like to have that, honestly, but what are you going to do? Yeah. But like I say, I think... I think we're going to be able to... Uh, I think we're going to be able to stack this all the way up to 20 times. The Flurry Strikes... I, I think it's going to be good enough that we're actually going to be able to get that to work at max potential. Because remember, every tick of Fists of Fury is another strike. So we're going to get a ton of flurry strikes. A ton more than people are giving us credit for. So. And Fists of Fury generates flurry strikes. So I think we're going to be able to do that. Yeah, no, I, I like that one too, Bulk. I really do. I just, I, I'm kind of leaning to Shadow Pan because it's not another button. You know what I mean? I'm not adding a button to my to my bars. Although, now that I know that Damp and Harm is gone, I could put that button right there and be perfectly happy with it. So, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to try both. I really do want to try both before I, I say I'm definitely going with this or definitely going with that. It's true. We're losing a lot of core buttons. Yeah. I thought we were getting it baseline as well, though. I thought we were that, that was just uh, an extra proc. But I, I you know what? I, I wouldn't mind it. You know, if we lost Expel Harm completely, like if it wasn't baseline. Yeah, that could be. If it wasn't baseline, then yeah, no, I would put right there the Celestial, and I would definitely give it a run, because I'm worried about having only a single Chi Generator. This is the problem I, I saw with with Dragonflight, when they took away our, um, what was it, our Fist thingamabobber that gave us three Chi. I, I mm, having only one Chi Generator Scares the baloney out of me sometimes, because it it tempts you to break your ma to break the mastery, right? But yeah, and we're gonna lose Bone Dust Brew as well, so it could it, the Celestial could easily go there. Yeah, that's true too. So, again, there, uh, there's a thing where during Storm, Earth, and Fire, Rising uh, rising Sun Kick makes stuff cost one less Chi as well. So that's going to be huge. And Whirling Dragon Punch to help out. All that. I just, I need to get my hands on it, you know? Expel Harm is probably going to be gone in War Within, is what Bulk is saying, Vatigar. It's, it's being baked into uh, Tiger Palm. So that every 15 seconds we get 3 Chi out of Tiger Palm instead of 2. Which is basically what Expel Harm is. It's just in another button now. 
M, I, I, I've never liked Clash. I, I, it was one of the things Metro convinced me to try when he was uh, first teaching me tanking. I never liked it. I just, I don't like that kind of... Because mm. you're really only moving one mob towards you. And you're only moving yourself towards one mob. So you can clash towards a single mob and, yeah, bulk's right. Buggy as all get out. It just doesn't work right. So. <sighs> I, I, that's why I don't have it in my, in my tree here. You guys can see that, right? Please tell me you can see that, and I haven't just been talking on my butt. Okay, good. <laughs> That's why I don't have it in the tree. It really is, Vatigar. It's We don't need it because we've got so many other movement speed ability things, right? There's a, an ability in here that can link our, uh, our teleport to another character so that we can teleport to them. <laughs> that too, Bulk. That too. <laughs> Look at it. It's, it's just beautiful. It's just super beautiful. I'm just so happy about it. Swift art. Which is swift art? Names are hard. Yes. That looks that looks super cool. Left three, eighth row, second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Second in. Swift art. No, that's that's not a button. That's just something that's added to roll. So your roll will remove a snare. And if you think about it, you really don't use it that that often. I thought about Celestial Determination, too. That seems like good, but it's kind of situational. Yeah, absolutely nice for entangling, because even though we've got Tiger's Lust, there's times where I roll to get out of entangling still, just because it doesn't line up 100% all the time. Yeah, absolutely, Dave. 100% be good for that. See, this is why I think Expel Harm is going to be baseline for all monks. Because they've still got this, this node here, right? And if it's just going to be part of Tiger's Palm, there's no need to have this node here. But that is in the monk tree, too. So, I don't know. Yeah, no, I get what you're saying, Bulk. I, I understand exactly what you're saying. But it also says it also casts Expel Harm. It says to me Expel Harm is going to be something that we can still cast. But again, we have to get in there and see. Yeah, no, I, I get that. And that was always kind of my thing about it too, but... Well, you know, I again, I could be wrong, Bulk. I could 100% be wrong. I, I don't mind saying that, but I, I want to see it. You know what I mean? I want to be in there with my hands in the mess. So that I can have 100% control over what is and isn't here and isn't isn't there. And 
Well, people are thinking tomorrow, Thor. There were a bunch of uh, influencers who... They flew out to play it. I am signed up. We'll see. I... I... I, I the chances of me getting in an, on an alpha are, you know... This is what they call it Slim and None. And Slim li li lives in California. Um... <laughs> But I have bought the Epic Edition, so I will get in at some point into the beta. So we'll get to dig into this together at some point. And I am 100% committed to uh, two charity drives before The War Within comes out. Okay? One charity drive is going to be... Uh, we're going to do... War Within, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, something, before War Within comes out. And the other one is going to be a challenge run in the MOP Remix when it comes out. And what we're going to do is we're just not going to wear the cloak, so we will never get experience bonus. And uh, we'll see. I might do add some other bits into there, but that those are the two charity drives we are definitely going to do before War Within comes out. So, I am committed to that. <sighs> yeah, I don't think you're ever going to quite get triple-double jump, because that's six jumps. But I get what you're saying. I think this is going to be hard for me to take. Because I might be able to move that down there. But I think that's a two-point node, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a two-point node, so I would need three points to get it to there. So I would have to take two points out of somewhere else. And I guess what most people would say is take it out of... No, I, I don't want to take it out of Fort Brew. <sighs> Tiger Tail Sweep, maybe? I love that. Look at that. Successfully interrupting an enemy reduces the cooldown of paralysis and roll by five seconds. It's so sick. Sure, but I live and die by my Vivify be becoming instant. I didn't check out, because I, I, I don't think they have the tier sets yet, they just have the tier set appearances. But I could be mistaken. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think it's just appearances, but we'll have a look. Death Knight tier sets, Evoker tier set, Monk tier set, appearances. Yeah, it's just the appearances. Yeah, I don't know. All of this silliness around the head kind of turns me off, but I do get what the they're going for. It's kind of a samurai-esque look. I mean, if I was to pick one of them, it would probably be this one. I don't even know which one that is. The outdoor sets. Have a look. Yeah, it might look cooler on a Pandar and M. I 
outdoor sets. Nice. You know what that kind of reminds me of? Just the way the face mask is done. Which I like, by the way. It just, it reminds me of... Uh, that big robot in the first Thor movie. Where the face came down and like a huge beam shot out of the face, that kind of thing. I don't know, that's just the vibes I'm getting. I kind of like that. Hmm. Interesting. That, that's a cool one-handed axe. I don't see a whole lot special about it. I see the kind of shawness out of this. Uh, dagger. Not a dagger person. Warglaive. Can't use warglaives. And a mace, sure. One-handed swords, come on. I don't know, that looks way too simplistic to me. I, I'm not a fan of that at all. This is a little bit nicer, but still. Mm -hmm. Of course, the two-handed swords looks awesome. Especially that one. Can't use ones. That's okay. That's got kind of a Mjolnir feel to it. Alright, guys. I am going to go because I am just exhausted from all the stuff that's come out today. So I am going to head out. I want to thank y'all for copping on by the stream and hanging out with me. It's been a hell of a day. I think we do it again tomorrow. I think we really do. Um, the only way I would not do it tomorrow is if Metro gets alpha access and then I'll be watching him. So, if not, we will be back tomorrow. Thank you, everybody. We will see you next time. Take care. Peace.